Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We're gonna be talking about all of the concealers that I am throwing away that just have not made the cut for me that I am not reaching for. And every day I pull open a drawer of concealer and I'm like stared down with all of these products that I have tried out and then I put back in the drawer hoping maybe one day for whatever reason, I will use them again and they will work. Like, I think I'll change my mind. I'm a big believer in second chances, I guess. I don't know when I do it with my makeup too. So it's a really weird habit. Um, yeah, we need to get rid of some of these though because my collection is overloaded and I tend to reach for these same concealers over and over anyway. My hit list is pretty easy. You guys know I love the Estee Lauder Double Wear. I love Tarte Shape Tape. I love Maybelline Age Rewind, Maybelline Fit Me. It's just like a narrow list. The Catrice one I really enjoy. Let's go through some of the more expensive ones. I do have drugstore ones that I'm getting rid of, but speaking of Tarte, I just, this one, I don't know why I hold on to it. I think I see a few people really loving on it and I'm like well maybe maybe because I like Tarte Shape Tape so much but this one right here smells like straight up wart remover and it doesn't really stay put on me and I just don't like it so I'm getting rid of this. I do have to say you guys I know I didn't review the Tarte Shape Tape foundation. I never even tried it. I kind of was turned off by the whole situation. Turned off a little bit with how Tarte was handling the situation and I'm kind of putting my shape tape just a little bit in time out. You know, looking at every launch recently and how being inclusive, especially with where we are in the world, you know, it's 2018, um, we need more than like five light shades as far as foundation launches. But I do wanna let you guys know that it is opening my eyes and I hope it opens your eyes as well to how many brands out there are getting away with that. Like, I feel like everybody really like threw punches pretty heavy at Tarte, but there are plenty of lines that they just have crappy ranges. And I'm not just talking about IT Cosmetics. There are foundations within Estee Lauder, Laura Mercier, La Mer, Dior Air Flash, Too Faced. No one said anything about the crappy range with the uh, peach whatever foundation. I never even used that one, but my point is it is opening my eyes to it all and I hope that it does the same for you and that it's not just us focusing exclusively on Tarte but focusing maybe on the whole situation and expecting more from every single brand. Okay, I said what I needed to say, moving on. This right here from Ulta, this is a full coverage waterproof concealer and it's just kind of gross. It just does not blend out. It goes full coverage in areas and then kind of bald patches in other areas. I can't get it to work. I never use this, so I'm getting rid of that. The Infallible Pro Glow from L'Oreal. Really surprising because I actually like a lot of L'Oreal concealers, but this one is just so watery and it just settles and dries down differently than the foundations that I use. So they never mesh well, they don't match up together well, and I don't like it. All right, so we then have the Maybelline Better Skin Concealer. Now I really gave this, that was like a dramatic hair flip. <laughs> Maybelline is like one of my favorites, you guys. Like I love their concealers so much. And I think that's why I'm like, well, I'm gonna try to love this one too, just because Maybelline gets it right with concealer in my book. And this was like, okay, but I'm at the point where if I'm not reaching for something and something is just mediocre and it doesn't wow me, then I don't want it in my life. And that's not just with makeup, that's with everything. If it is not like up here and on this like wow level, it's out. And I think that's a really great way to operate in your life and a, a great way to self love. I don't want lukewarm anything, no more, we're done with that. The Physicians Formula Insta Ready Full Coverage Concealer. This kind of reminded me a little bit of Max concealer that comes in a similar pump. It's thick. This one just creases like crazy. It feels thick initially, but it almost goes down more to a foundation type coverage where it's not really like brightening, covering, doing what I need it to do underneath the eye. So for me, I don't like it. This right here from IT Cosmetics, this is the Your Skin But Better CC Eye Under Eye Guy. This is kind of like what I kept in mind for a natural, going to brunch, we don't have time to fuss around type of a product, but it just does nothing. It's like a glorified eye cream. I don't like it, not for me. This, you know, it has hydrating 
sunscreen serum. I don't get it. I just, this is a pass. I like the Bye Bye Under Eye from It Cosmetics, but that one to me just feels like a big, huge waste of time. Does anybody feel like when they overheat, they can't think properly? Because whenever this room gets really hot, like I start to get very flustered when I'm filming. Okay, so this is the Milani Retouch plus Erase Light Lifting Concealer. And I feel like I kept this on hand because it kind of worked okay. And I love the Milani Conceal and Perfect, and I felt like this was the companion. It is a nice coverage, but it does crease, it does move, it doesn't wear all day the way I would like it to. So we're just gonna go with expecting more from our makeup. All right, let's touch on um, color correctors because who has time for this? Who needs this? Does it really do that much? I don't think so. I mean, I guess if you are on set somewhere and you are doing makeup on someone for a photograph or an event, maybe that makes sense. But color correctors sometimes just feel like, do we need another step? Like, do we need another product in the routine? I mean, sometimes like the peach ones, I guess, can cancel out dark circles if that's a big struggle of yours and you need you know, something to figure that situation out, then I say go for it. But overall, I kind of feel like when these came out a little bit, it made us feel like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna sneeze. Oh, oh, no I'm not. I kind of feel like when these made a huge big launch, it made some of us, or I don't know, maybe it's just me. It made me feel like I needed it. It made me feel like, oh, yes, I need to cancel out the redness in my skin. And then I'm like, wait, what redness? I don't have redness. Why do I need that? I'm so confused. So this just felt like a big push of like, this is the trend, go spend your money. And I just never used these. I never used them ever. And Estee Lauder just launched a bunch more and I was looking at them going, uh, are we going down this path again? Because I don't find it necessary. All right, a very expensive concealer that I am parting ways with is the By Terry um, Densilis. This is the anti-wrinkle dark circle. I'm just gonna call it that. Um, this is the anti-wrinkle dark circle eraser that will cost you lots of dollar bills and it's just not that great. It's honestly just so mediocre and it stinks of roses. Like all the By Terry stuff, oh, some of it I love. Like their foundations, mm, love it, but it all smells so strong that it gives me a headache. Like how can a concealer give you a headache? It just can, roses. You know, I just don't understand why this one is so freaking expensive. It doesn't do anything miraculous. It definitely creases, it definitely moves. It's not full coverage, but it doesn't look natural either. So it's kind of in between of like, you're wearing makeup, doesn't look good. Let's just throw another swing at By Terry in this video. This concealer was actually one of the worst that I've ever tried as far as creasing goes. This is one that is marketed as a concealer and foundation. You can use this on the face. I really think you would go through it so quickly if you did that because you really don't get a lot of product and that would just be a big waste of money. If you want something creamy like this and this kind of an applicator, but more product, go for the Hourglass Vanish Foundation. This. It's kind of like the vanish consistency, but if you put it underneath your eyes, it's just gonna be a mess. I mean, not just creasing, but it's so creamy that anything you put on the lower lash line, even waterproof mascara smears, and I cannot stand that. So a lot of the time when things smear underneath your eyes, it's not just the eye product. Sometimes it is the concealer and how emollient it is and the different ingredients and how oily it is. Not the concealer's oily, but when they get too hydrating, it can move your makeup around, especially if you do makeup on the lower lash line. So this one just made my makeup go everywhere and it creased, which are like too huge. No, you're out of here, bye. Bye, bye, bye. Those are deal breakers for me, guys. Those are just deal breakers. I don't want creasing. I don't want it to look cakey and I don't want my makeup to smear. Like, is that too much to ask? I don't think so because I have found like five really great concealers and they're not all high end. So I will list my favorites in the description box as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this run through of things that I am letting go of. And I can do this again with another 
you know, category if you want. I'm constantly purging makeup because I'm just not someone that holds on to a ton of it. I like to donate, give away, do giveaways for you guys, and then just get rid of things that have expired. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I didn't mention that I am test driving a concealer today, which was actually why I was like rifling through everything. So if my under eye area looks weird and you're like, Tati, you're getting rid of concealer, but your under eye area kind of looks a little bit strange, that is why. I don't think I like this. We're ending this video. I love you guys for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, hit the thumbs up button. It lets me know that you liked it. And I am wishing you a great day, whatever you are doing. I will see you all in my next video. Mwah.